Yo, what up you naked bacon strips? It is Quonky and today I'm bringing you a video on how to increase your RAM on Minecraft. Not Minecraft the actual game like that, but I'm on about Minecraft the server. Now, this can become very important when you have a beast PC. Like, uh, say mine, joking. The, like, just say if you have over 8 gigabytes of RAM and if you don't really want to get you know, server's okay for one or two people, but if you want to explode large amounts of things with TNT or, you know, go exploring with a lot more people, you need a lot more than 100 to 200 MB of RAM. So, like, MB of RAM. And, uh, you know, I've actually seen a lot of programs that do it for you, but they only dedicate one gigabyte of RAM to Minecraft. And just say if you've got 24 gigabyte of RAM like me, one gigabyte RAM is nothing and it's a really big waste of your RAM on Minecraft. So a lot of people have been asking me how do you dedicate all the RAM to your Minecraft because no one I have seen on YouTube have actually made a decent video about it that actually explains it and tells you how to do it. A lot of videos just say download this link, click it, click like your OS and you're done. But if you were to read the scripts, you would see it only dedicates one gigabyte of RAM. And you can't upgrade it. So, this is how you do it. Now, it's pretty easy, as long as you follow the steps. All the steps are in the description below, because I'm nice like that. Uh, can I just say, follow my Twitter. It's going to be in the description below as well. Please and please subscribe to me. Anyway, now that's all out of the way. I'm going to show you how to add more uh, RAM to your server. So... First of all, downloads, we. First of all, go to uh, your Minecraft server. You know, look at the name of the server because obviously that will play a big role coming up. Make sure it's Minecraft underscore server. And if it's not, then make it Minecraft underscore server because it's a lot easier to write down. So anyway, let's start. Basically, click start and go to the notepad if it's not there. You know you can type notepad and it'll pop up. Sorry for my slow typing, I've literally just got this PC back. Well, my graphics card's back for the PC. And I'm used to a tiny 15 inch laptop. And this is like a keyboard the size of a 30 inch laptop, it's huge. Anyway, coming on to how to increase your RAM on the server. Now what you want to do is you want to open up your notepad document. Straight away you want to type at, echo off, that's the first line, hit the uh, enter button, if I'm going a bit too fast I'll let you catch up, if not pause the video if you're going a bit slow, if not watch the whole video then go back step by step, either way it's all going to be in the description because I'm a nice person. Anyway, now what you want to do is under that type java, like I said I'm not used to the keyboard. Java, you can have caps on the J, it really doesn't matter. And then XMS, like I said, you can have capitals if you want, it's up to you. Now, this is where the important part comes in. Because where all this is, where them brackets are, have to put your RAM, like how much RAM you want. Now, just say if you have 8 gigabytes RAM, it wouldn't be like wouldn't be advisable to put 8 gigabyte RAM in because if the server, just say if you've got a million blocks of TNT on your server like I normally have if you were to blow them up it will blue screen your whole PC because it would use up the whole 8 gigabyte RAM and it will take it out of the OS and it will just blue screen your PC at crash and it restart so just say if you've got 8 gigabyte RAM I would suggest you use 4 gigabyte or 6 gigabyte RAM max so as an example, one gigabyte RAM is 1,024 MB. So two gigabyte RAM would be 2,048 MB. Three gigabyte RAM would be 3,072 MB. Stuff like that, as an example. But I want to use. I've got 24 gigabyte RAM. 24 gigabyte RAM would be fuck. 24,000. 576 I believe anyway my mouse is proper still sorry so that would be 24 gigabyte RAM but of course I'm not going to use that because I would sort of be a hypocrite of what I've just said 
So I'm going to use 16 gigabyte RAM to be safe. Shit, what's 16 gigabyte RAM? Uh, it is 16... 3, 2, 4. Really hope I don't mess up. Now, I've just put in the amount of RAM I'm going to use, and right at the end, you put a capital M. Really important. If you don't put it, then it won't really work. So now you're going to put a space, and you're going to put another dash, big X, then an M, then an X. Now, use the same number you put there. I'm lazy, so I'm going to copy and paste it, and then put another M right at the end. Now, I'll let you take you know a few seconds to catch up and do that if you haven't already, then just bear with. I'm just going to talk mindlessly till you get really bored, and you're going to subscribe to me. I'm doing like the Darren Brown mind trick on you. I'm joking. The Jedi mind trick. Um, <laughs> now, what you do, sorry for my poor jokes if they are quite bad. Now, go from the end, put a space, then put dash, jar, be a capital J if not. No, you don't have to put jar. Now, like I said, really take notice on what your Minecraft server is called. Mine's called Minecraft dash server, which, you know, is the default name of it. So, of course, Minecraft underscore, I said dash, sorry, server. Now, that is what it's called. Then what you want to do is put dot jar, dot jar, and then you're going to want to leave a space and put GUI. Now, the final bit is, it's as simple as this, is hit enter and type pause, P-A-U-S-E. Anyways, this is another part of the video just showing you how to save. I did make one error in the video that I did make. I actually put it as 16, 3, 2, 4, when in fact it's 16, 3, 8, 4. Did kind of make a wrong calculation, but what can I say? I tried doing it in my head from the top, like, like from the spare of the moment, and I got it wrong. Anyway, you click save. As and of course you can put whatever you want as long as you put dot bat at the end. The course is to click save and it's going to work hopefully as long as you type in the right bits. Like I said it's going to be in the description. Also go follow me on Twitter. Just got to jump it in. So now hopefully when I click quonky it will load up and everything's be fine. Of course I'm going to click the server first and as you can see I've got 4 percent free which my memory use is 106 MB absolute wank now if I click on Quonky you will juice your pants because now it's jumped up from using 100 MB using 511 MB and I've got 98% free on my server you know I can't say anything else more than that it works and I've just proved it works so, apart from my minor calculations, which were wrong, I have to admit, you know, I kind of got it working, everything works. If you need any help at all, feel free to message me. I haven't seen anyone on YouTube doing it this way before. They all go back to the, uh, like, the, the directories and go through Java instead of actually going through the server straight away, which is basically what I've just done. No one I know has done it yet on YouTube that I believe have wrote that script. So you can go look around and check it out. I don't think I have. Anyway, I'm going to sum it up. I've been Quonky. Please subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more, you know, I'm going to be making a lot more uh, Minecraft videos. And of course, I'm going to be playing Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out. I've been Quonky. Subscribe and also follow me on Twitter if you have Twitter. Take it easy, I'm off to throw a brick at a seagull and hopefully I'll record it on my phone. Peace.